We're in a global recession that could lead to a global depression. Never has it been more important than right now to get your finances in order. In this video, I'm gonna reveal the five things that are keeping you back from living a rich, abundant, and wealthy life. Let's get into the video. What if I told you you've been scammed? That's right, you've been scammed. By your family, by the media, by your friends. This is one of the biggest scams in history. I'll reveal it to you later in the video, but first let's get into the five things that are holding you back and keeping you broke and keeping you from living your best life. Okay, so coming in at number one is impulse buying. That's right, impulse buying. This can quickly add up. Let's have an example here where say a person spends on average $20 a day on impulse buying. That some days I might spend less, some days I might spend a bit more. But if we're gonna go with $20 a day, now you may say 20 bucks a day, that's not that much. And you're right, it's not much for the day. But in this, the goal of this video is to achieve financial independence or retire early. This is the goal. Now this goal can take 20 years. It can be done faster, but let's say on average it was gonna take 20 years. So for all these scenarios, we're gonna do it in a 20 year perspective. And we're gonna use an example of what would happen if you actually invested that money. So if you actually save that $20 a day, that would be $600 a month, which seems like a fair bit. But that would actually be $7,200 a year, which is seeing a bit bigger now. But this is the power I wanna show you how much it's really holding you back. Because everything we're trying to do to achieve financial independence is a lifetime goal. So over 20 years, just from those little $20 on average impulse buyings, you would have spent $144,000 just on little things you don't need. That's right, $144,000 that could have gone towards your retirement or could have shaved you know, five years off your working time and you could retire five years earlier. But now I'm gonna show you the real power. And the power thing is something called opportunity cost. If you actually invested that $7,200 a year and you, in an index fund that averages around 8% uh, per annum and a quick, a quick uh, one is uh, just the S&P 500, that averages, you know, through over the past 90 years of over 9%. So if you invested that, it's actually costing you 322,000 towards your financial independence number or towards your retire, retire early number. That's right, 322,000. This is the power of compound interest. This will save me $322,000 if I just don't buy it now, save that $20 and invest it for the long term. Now some of you may be like, but Michael, investing's risky. The stock market is risky. You're gonna lose all your money. And you're right, investing is risky, but with no risk, there's no reward. And it's a calculated risk. If you're investing in an index fund that diversifies across 500 companies, you'll greatly reduce your risk. And over a 20 year period, you know, 99% chance you'll be ahead. And this is not financial advice. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I don't know your personal situation. But if you invest in index funds for the long term, there's not much risk, especially if you dollar cost average, because you may buy at the peak, but then there'll also be times where it'll crash and you'll be buying on a, at a discount. Number two is every time you get a pay rise, you increase your spending to meet that because you want to look successful. If you get a pay rise, hey, you're a big shot now. You gotta look, you gotta look the part. And this is a big mistake. And I've fallen, uh, I've fallen into this trap before. I got a better job and I was earning more money and I thought, you know what, I deserve it. I'm gonna get a big house. I'm gonna be a big hot shot. Um, you know, I'm gonna be born. You know, all my friends are gonna think how awesome I am with my big house. And I thought it would make me happy. And I thought because I've earned more money to be more successful, I have to get a bigger house. And I actually did the opposite. The rent was really high. The utilities were crazy. Uh, the electricity and gas just to heat that huge house cost you know nearly a thousand dollars a quarter. Um, and then I had to work more to pay for everything, so I couldn't even enjoy the house because now I'm having to work more to pay the higher rent and to pay the higher utilities. So let's say, for example, instead of spending that pay rise, say for example you get a better job and you're earning an extra ten thousand dollars a year. If instead of spending that $10,000 a year and you invested that again into an index fund over 20 years, you would have $504,000. That's right, $504,000. So 
So now we're at a total of $826,000 just by cutting these two things out alone. So we're on our way to hit our first million, but there's still three big powerful things that we can cut out that's coming up. Okay, number three, transportation. Transportation is one of the three biggest expenses for Australians. According to Finder, Australians spend on average $17,000 a year on transportation. That includes things like your car loan repayment, uh, servicing your car, registration, toll, maintenance, insurance. And you may not think you know that you spend that much, but when you add it all up, it is quite a big number. Now we could re greatly reduce this number by completely selling your car and it's awesome now. A lot of jobs you can work remotely or you can figure out a way to make an online business and reduce it to zero. Or alternatively, you could get a bike and live closer to work, rent a room closer to work and still have zero. But let's say, you know, you still need a car, you've got a family, you still need a car. You can cut this number in half by buying a secondhand fuel efficient car like a Suzuki and that will greatly reduce your transportation costs. So let's say we cut it in half and that brings us a savings of eight and a half thousand a year. Now if we invest that again in an index fund that returns 8%, that will give us an additional $428,000 towards our financial independence number or towards our retirement number. So now, guess what? Bang, we've hit that millionaire club. We've now saved and invested and it's reached 1.26 million. That's right, 1.26 million, but we're not done yet. Let's get into the two biggest expenses. Number four, food. According to savings.com.au, the average Australian spends $300 a week on food. We can greatly reduce this number by 50% by meal prepping all our meals and shopping at Aldi for most of our groceries instead of Coles and Woolworths. If you do this and cut your weekly grocery bill and food bill in half to $150, that will save us an additional $7,800 a year. Again, if we invest that, that will give us an additional $393,000 towards our financial independent number or towards our retirement fund number. So now we're at 1.65 million with our biggest savings and biggest expense coming up now. Okay, so coming in at number one, housing. The average Australian spends approximately $1,900 a month on housing. So if we reduce this biggest monthly expense, we can greatly increase our savings rate and achieve financial independence much faster and have a much bigger nest egg for retirement. So let's say, how can we eliminate this number? There are some great innovative ways that you can reduce this number. There's something called house hacking. So say for example, you buy a four bedroom house, you can actually rent out the three other rooms um, and you can actually live pretty much for nothing. Let's say for example, you buy a house for 400K, you got a mortgage of around $1,600 a month and you rent out three of those rooms for $150 a week each. So that's about $450 a week. So that gives us about $1,800 a month. So bang, that pretty much covers all your housing costs. But I know this won't be for everyone. So alternatively, if you can't buy a house, you can rent a room. Rents have been slashed dramatically in most capital cities in Australia. And I've seen some rooms where you can rent for $100 a week utilities included but let's say on average $150 a week. Alternatively as well, you could move back in with mum and dad and pay them board to help them out. So there's many options here. So let's just say, for example, we reduce this by 50%. So we cut it by 50%. That will give us a savings of $11,400 per year. That is a huge savings because housing is a biggest expense. It doesn't come from, you know, saving $5 a day on coffee. It comes from these big, big expenses. If we invest that $11,400 a year into an index fund like the S&P 500, and on the ASX, by the way, it's called SPY. That's the ETF that you can invest in. Again, not financial advice, just random guy on YouTube here, bro. Um, that will give us an additional $574,000 towards our fine number or our retire early number. And that re gives us a total from reducing all these expenses, guess what it is? 2.25 million. That's right. By smashing out these five biggest expenses, by living a frugal, minimalistic lifestyle, you've managed to put away pretty much most of your income. 
probably 70% of your income by smashing out these expenses, maybe even 80%. And now you've, after 20 years of dollar cost averaging for the long term, minimizing your risk, you've now got a nest egg of over $2 million. And guess what? That can outgrow what you can earn with your salary. $2.25 million at an average return of 8% will grow at a rate of approximately $175,000 per year. That's right, your, your money now just grows at $175,000 a year with by, from you doing nothing. This is why the rich keep getting richer, because their money works for them. They don't work for money. And that's why us average Joes, we struggle because the cost of living is so high and there's so many, only so many hours in the day that we can work before we get buggered. So you need to understand this, that investing for the long term, greatly reducing your living expenses is the way. Now getting back to the first part in the video about the scam, the scam we've all been scammed by, one of the greatest scams in history. What is it? The scam is to be successful, you gotta look successful. And once you become successful, you need to spend all your money. And that's because the media and companies spend billions and billions and billions of dollars advertising to get you to spend your money. They say, you deserve it. You know, buy it now, pay later, don't worry about the future. Spending all of your income and putting the rest on credit cards has become the norm. And this is why so many people in Australia has no savings and now we're into, entered into a recession and people are not prepared. If you cut out your expenses and don't fall into this trap of spending everything you have and trying to keep up with the Joneses and trying to look successful when you're not successful, you'll greatly be on your way to achieving financial independence and retiring much earlier. And what would you rather? Would you rather look rich or be rich? Would you rather look like a million dollars or have a million dollars in the bank? I know I'd much rather the freedom. I don't care about materialistic things. I only care about things that bring me value and I care about freedom and having choices to do what I want in life. I hope this has opened your eyes to how much you are really wasting on your money and I hope it has opened your eyes to the power of investing and compound interest. Albert Einstein said compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world and it truly is. Investing in the stock market can be risky but if you invest in index funds for the long term you can greatly reduce your risk by dollar cost averaging. Again, you may buy at the peak, but you also buy at the lows. So guys, if this video brought you value, please like for the whole YouTube algorithm. And comment your thoughts below. What do you think your biggest monthly expense is that you're wasting money on? And do you think it's possible today with the cost of living skyrocketing to still get ahead in life? And subscribe for more awesome content on personal finance, savings, and investing. I'll see you in the next video.